Hello, I'm Chris, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to reverse around a corner to the left. Now, it's easy to overcomplicate this maneuver, so I'll be showing you the simplest way of doing it. The object of this maneuver is to reverse into a side road, keeping it reasonably close to the curb, normally about a drain's width. Also, looking out for all other road users. If you have to carry this maneuver out on your driving test, then the examiner will stop you before the road that they want you to reverse into. You would then drive past it, looking into the road, making sure that it's clear for about three car lengths. If there's any parked cars there, you wouldn't be able to carry out the maneuver. You would then stop on the left in a safe, convenient place. Once you've parked, you can then change straight into reverse gear. There are different ways to carry out this maneuver. An important part of it is to make sure that you can see the curb. In some cars, you can see the curb in the backside window behind the passenger seat, but some people find this too hard to see. What we can do though, which can make the maneuver a lot simpler, is to move the left hand door mirror down so that we get a good view of the curb. This can also be done on your driving test, but make sure that you don't just stare at it, as you'll need to constantly observe around for other road users, making sure that you stop if anyone gets near you. Check all around before you reverse, including over your left shoulder out the back window. Once it is safe, start reversing, but bear in mind that you might be going up or downhill. Out the back window, check where the curb disappears into the car. You will need this reference point for later. Reverse slowly until you get to your point of turn. In the mirror, you will see this when the gap between the door handle and the curb starts to widen out. At this point, stop, apply the handbrake, and have another quick check around because the front of the car is going to swing out. We need to make sure it's safe. Once it is safe, start reversing, steering immediately to the left. How much to steer depends on the corner. What we need to do is keep the gap between the door handle and the curb the same as we go around. If the gap gets smaller, steer to the right. And if the gap goes wider, steer to the left, but make sure you're checking around all the time, stopping if any road user gets near you. Observations are very important. As you go around the corner, you will start to see the curb in the back window. When you see the curb where it was earlier on, and you will see that the curb is parallel with the car in the mirror, then you can straighten the wheels to the right and slowly go back three car lengths until the examiner tells you when to stop, but make sure you keep checking around all the time. When you do straight reversing, make sure you don't steer too much. Just do little adjustments so you don't get too wiggly. Every corner's different, so let's try another one. Once it's safe to start reversing and you've checked all around, go back slowly and find your point of turn. Again, you will see this in your door mirror when the gap between the door handle and the curb starts to widen. Make sure it's safe, slowly start going backwards, steering left, but keeping the gap equal as you go backwards. If the gap goes smaller, steer right, and if the gap goes wider, steer left. Once you see that you are parallel with the curb in the door mirror, then straighten the wheels to the right and slowly go backwards, mostly looking out the back window and stopping if anyone approaches. Well that's how you reverse around a corner, I really hope this video has been useful, if it has then please give us a thumbs up like at the bottom of the screen as it's really appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for our latest videos. We wish you all the best of luck with your driving test, and see you on the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.